Hey fam, it's me, Pastor Alex, and this is the prayer direction for the last week of the October fast. We are about to go into Lord have mercy. And if you've been around Fountain of Life for years, you know, you, you know the routine. If you can't get it through a straw, you got to say no. So we're going for the long stretch people um, trying to go with just liquids. But listen, I really appreciate the fact that we have followed scripture that just says um, certain things don't go away. It don't change without prayer and fasting. And so I'm glad that you are leaning in and doing this together. This week, I want the focus of the prayer to be, God, just revive me. Awaken in me what's been in me since the beginning of times through your call, your purpose. Awaken it so that I might ignite or join with your work in the world. So I want you to pray that God would really awaken you out of your comfort zone, out of your sense of perceived limitation. I want you to know that Christ in you is enough. Christ in you is enough. So I want you to pray that um, we have an election coming up and we have so much that's happening in our world. We need to pray your kingdom come, your will be done, your kingdom come, your will be done. That even if the agenda is not our own, we need the will of God to be done. So we're praying for a revival, for our own revival, but we're praying for an awakening of the church, a unification of the church. We're praying for the word of God to break out so that people will say, what must I do to be saved? We're praying that God would just bring healing and calmness to our nation because we need it. Comfort to our world because we need it. So please, would you pray this week with me for revival? Your own, would you please pray for the revival of Fountain of Life Church? That we would just, just rebound into something we've never been before. Would you pray for a release of the miraculous in our church and in the body of Christ? And would you pray that God's kingdom would come and that his will would be done? So we're praying for revival on a personal, corporate, and just large cosmic level. We're praying that God would be with our nation. There are earthquakes and fires and floods and tornadoes, you all. This just reads like an old end of the world movie that I used to watch in the 70s. But God is not finished yet. We want a revival for the church that souls may be one to Christ. All right. I love you all. Thank you for praying and fasting with us. And let's make this last week a real powerful one. Revive us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. Revive us.